This bless you, the Lord bless you and keep you, turn his face and shine brightly upon you, grant you his grace, lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This is the cross, fully assembled. There we go. Sorry for my video skills here. And this is the top assembly from the top spar. Okay, try and get that. You can see the hinge, and then you can see the clamp, the uh, elbow on it on this one side next to the hinge. And then I'm just gonna. Sorry if this is uh, a little bit rough. Show you here. And then over here you can see there are five screws screwing in the cross to the main beam. All right. And then we go down the main beam. You can see here we have the hinge and another um, uh, L bracket. All right. I'm going to show you this side of the L bracket. Okay, and then go underneath, and you can see the L bracket again attached. Now it's attached with one and a quarter screws. Gosh, I really should have taken something in school for video. Anyways, one and a quarter screws, and again, here's the final down by the base. This is the, how do I explain this? There, this is attached right to the member that's going to hook to the bottom. So you can see the, the hinge and the L bracket. And again, the L bracket on top. Hopefully that is clear. All right. And again, one and a quarter inch screws, the screwing all these L brackets. Now, and I'll put the, uh, the rest of the bolts into the uh, wheels before I ship it. But you can see how this is assembled with the L brackets all the way up, going past the, the cross member, which is attached right next to the L brackets there. And then you can see the top and the cross. And I'm hoping this is enough to be clear about how it's to be assembled. All right. And in order to put the screws in, you can use soap on the screws to make them screw easier. And again, these are three inch screws on this cross member into the main beam. All right, and they go in kind of at an angle to give it some, some torsional stability, okay? So this will all get folded up. I'll disassemble all the L brackets. I'll use the hinges to fold it up and then I will uh, use a bracket to hold those members together as they're, uh, as they're down by the base as they ship in the bucket and when you get it pull the turn the bucket on its side and just pull the cross out after you've unloaded most of it um, don't try and pull out Bibles out of the bucket with the cross just uh, the cross is 25 pounds um, and it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit bulky, so just be careful of that. And uh, Jesus bless you again, as always. The Lord bless you and keep you. Turn his face and shine brightly upon you. Grant you his grace. Lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. In Jesus' name, I bless you again. Amen.